This is a custom cat vest that I made in about two minutes and I used no software. I just went online and I created it right in the program. There's Mr. Kitty and here is the vest as well. There's a little mock-up thing here. So you can create designs in a website without any Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Inkscape, none of that. How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a great day. The website that I want to show for you today is called thisnew.com and there is pet products sitting inside of this website. So I'm going to go to products and I'm going to scroll on down under home and living and then there's a little category here called living. And inside here now we've got shower curtains, ashtrays, passport holders, and there's Mr. Doggy, custom bandanas, washable dog, cat triangle bib, and then also custom clothes printed vest. So I'm going to do the uh, printed vest here. It's $6 US, pretty good price point. And then there's a little design here on the back. Now I do want to point out as we jump into this tutorial, uh, this new, the website, this new, there's a description in the video below. And inside that description, I'll put the link to this website. It is an affiliate link. And what that means is that if you click on the link and you wind up purchasing this or any other product on this new, I would get a small commission and you would be helping support this channel. Okay, so let's jump in here to the custom clothes printed vest. Now I'm not going to be using Photoshop, Inkscape. I'm just going to design it right in this new. So I'm just going to click the design tab here and it's going to open up the little design portal. And there's a little mock-up over on the right hand side here down in the right hand corner. So whatever you do in this palette, it'll update this within one or two seconds. So there's a little thing here on the back, a little rectangle that we can now put stuff in. Now you can upload in the design tab here, you can upload your own image. So if you had an image of your cat's face or a funny saying or something that you've already created, you can just click the image button and then import that image. But I'm not going to do that today. Instead, I'm going to use the text box and then I'm going to import an image that's already sitting on this website that they've supplied, like a stock image. So first thing I'm going to do is change the background color. I'm going to pretend that this is like Christmas time, for example, and I want to make a Christmas image. So I'm going to select the background color and I'm going to pick something that's like red. So nice bright red. And when I just click out of it now, it will update that little thing, that little rectangle there. So now I'm going to put some text in. I'm going to click the text box and there's an option here now to click in inside of it. I'll just double click it and I'll start typing. So let's say that the cat's name is, you know, Brutus, for example. Now, when you hit the delete key, it will delete the whole thing. So this is a bit tricky. So you want to click the text, double click it, type Brutus, and then you got to go to the end and just use the backspace key. So just in case you're like clicking delete and you're like, why isn't it working? Then you can double click it. The whole thing is selected. And then over on the right, you've got options like the color. For example, you can change the color to white. And then you can go through your different fonts here. I just like this first one. It's called M Bambo. And then you can just make the size bigger if you like, just by scrolling on down. So I'm going to make it like that. Now you can also center the design. You can center it horizontally and you can center it vertically. But if you were like, say, let's say you put it up here and you change your mind, you can just click the center vertically and it will just move it right down. So I'm actually going to move it up a tiny bit because I want to put a picture underneath it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to center it horizontally. So we're good. Okay. So there's, there's the, the design so far. And if I'd like to see what it looks like, I can click the little mock-up down on the bottom, right? The little plus arrow and there it is. And then there's what it would sort of look like. It's like obviously just a Photoshopped image, but it would give you an idea at least of what it would look like in relation to the cat. The cat looks super impressed, right? So we're, we're coming for you there, Mr. Pickles. We're going to give you a nice uh, vest here that you can wear. Okay, so now I want to import an image underneath. So what you can do here, instead of the text, is you can go into material. Okay, so what I did is I selected this last option, material. And now there's a whole bunch of like clip art stuff. 
Now I've tried this search and it doesn't seem to work so great. So like for example, if I put in like Halloween, it doesn't, I mean, it does come back with some items for Halloween, but if I search anything else, like say cat, it doesn't come back with anything. So the search is not great. So what I would recommend is you just select nothing and just click the little search bar and it will pop open everything. Now you're gonna have to scroll through, but that's okay, right? So we can take a look here at what's available. So there's Halloween images. You can just click the next button now and go to page two. It's a pretty quick scroll, right? So now it'll go to page three. And eventually we'll find some Christmassy stuff here. So here's one, a couple of reindeer. So I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna select the reindeer image and he just pops in to the window. Now using this little anchor point, I can make this smaller or larger. I can also shrink it, like I can also stretch it or shrink it if you use one of the other ones. But if you wanna keep the actual dimensions the same, then you would use this one on the bottom right and that locks it in. So I'm gonna remove that and just try it one more time. I'll select it, it'll pop in, I'll make it bigger. And let's say I wanna put it there. Now notice how he's above the text, what I can do is when I go back to, when I go back, you'll see there's different layers and you can move this layer down or you can move this layer up. So it's up and down. Now it doesn't give me an up option because it's already at the top, but I can click down and it will now push it underneath the text, okay? The other option is I could take the text and I can copy it and that'll create actually an extra layer double click it, and then if you want, you can change the text color. So maybe I wanted to make it, say, bright green, for example. So now I've got a copy of the text. And now what I can do is I can move this text over top or underneath. So this text here, I can now move up or down. So here I've, I can move this one down. So I'm just gonna cover, I'll move it on top, right? So now green, let's say I wanted to have green underneath. Well then here I just select down and now it moves it underneath. I wanna move the reindeer to the back. I select down as well. So you just kind of monkey with the layers a little bit. So the reindeer's at the back. Then I've got the green text and the white text and I can put it sort of like that to create like a, you know, a 3D effect. And then I just select the mock-up and I can check it out. So you can see here, it shows it's off a little bit here. The Brutus text is off. So what you would do is just make sure that that is aligned. There we go, that looks better. So now I've got the Brutus text there, Brutus. And that looks great. So that's it. Now, if you're done and you like the way that looks, then you hit the save button and then it's going to ask you now if you'd like to purchase the item or if you'd like to sell the item. So one of the things about this new that's really nice is you can integrate this with Shopify and WooCommerce. Yeah, you can see on the main page down at the bottom, it integrates with WooCommerce, Shopify, and Etsy. So if you have an Etsy store, for example, you could just list this now you could list this item right on Etsy, just click go, and then it would integrate into Etsy and you'd be able to sell this design. You could also just click go and you could purchase the design either for yourself or for your client. So I wanna point out, even if you don't sell on Etsy or WooCommerce or Shopify, you could just sell this directly to friends, family. You could have a listing on Facebook Marketplace with a sample item, for example. And I know there's rules about Facebook Marketplace about selling physical goods, so please, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to be, you know, throw out the disclaimer. You want to make sure you're complying with all the local laws and ordinances. But if you've got a local business, a home-based business, this can be a really nice opportunity where you take someone's order and then you just get it shipped to your house and then you just deliver the order locally to someone as well. So I hope you found that helpful. Nice quick walkthrough here about pet designs. And I really like this new, I think the quality is good. And I think you really can't beat the price too. I mean, this was about $6 US and the shipping is pretty cheap too. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Have a great day.